Hello ladies and gentlemen, lots of people are struggling in this day and age to make godly decisions. When they're trying to do that, they're struggling to find the right path. Now, I've put together some questions that you can ask yourself, and these are scriptural. I'll put the scriptures down at the bottom, the references are there, are there for you to, to have a look and see if that is you. This is a help. This is a help for people who are at a point in their life that they need to make um, very important decisions. It doesn't matter important or not so important, it's still a decision that will affect your life. Every decision that we make daily, they will affect our lives in one way or the other, at one time, at one point in our lives. So we need to be careful about all our choices all the choices that we make daily so you need to be kind of equipped with these questions they should be in the back of your mind all the time constantly and every time you come up with a different situation in your life then you need to think about these uh, questions and answer them the first thing you need to ask yourself is can I do this with a clear conscience and a heart at peace. Next thing is, can I enter into it wholeheartedly? You have to consider yourself in that situation as if you've done it already. Now, do you feel that you will be at peace once you've done it? Is your conscience clear? As far as God is concerned and secondly can I enter into it wholeheartedly you don't want to do something that you your whole heart is not with it you feel like you you're just doing it to please somebody or someone or something you just want to do it out of, out of duty or something but it's not you it's not your whole heart uh, into it you haven't put your whole heart into it. You feel maybe obliged to do it, but it's not you. You really don't want to do it. So then that is an indication for you. Can I do this to the glory of God? Can you still do this? Can you still do that or this or the other? and still thank God for that and glorify God for that. These are serious questions. Can I do this in Christ's name? Can you actually do that in Jesus' name? Will it be helpful to my spiritual life? Or will it drag me down spiritually? Think about that one. Will it enslave me? It might all sound good, but it entangles you and it enslaves you. Then that is a clear indication. It's a no, no, go area. Will it endanger my health? God doesn't want you to be in a situation that your health is at risk. Will it minister to my fallen nature or lead me into temptation? If it appeals to your flesh desires, which are contrary to the spirit, as the scripture puts it, there you go again, another clear indication, it's a no-go area. Will it stumble a fellow believer who is weaker than I am? Maybe you have a fellow believer in your church or congregation or wherever, and what you're doing, it might be totally right, but it might stumble them because their faith is weaker. And Paul is making an example there. Uh, the references are there. For instance, <coughs> talking about eating meat and uh, 
you know, if your brother considers meat unclean, but it is clean for you and you consider it clean, then it's clean for, and uh, it's all right for you to eat it. But don't eat it in front of your brother because it might be a stumbling block. And the last thing, the last question to ask, not the least, is it likely to be misunderstood? So you might be doing something sincerely and you might be doing with no ulterior motives and you have no um, ungodly desires or fleshly desires to do something but it might be interpreted by others and misunderstood. Again, I hope the references and the questions are put forward for you to bear in mind and have them always on the forefront of your mind before you make a decision, especially important decisions. May God richly bless you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.